quarter to five on this Friday morning. Temperatures a little uh, more comfortable than they have been the last couple of mornings. TJ, how's the rest of the day looking today? Yeah, 40s right now. We're going to be getting into the 50s this afternoon, right. but yeah, well, we're looking at some rain showers to arrive a little bit later in the day. Let's look, take a look at the amp cam where we are dry this morning and mainly clear skies. There are some clouds around now. We were uh, looking to see if we could see some of the northern lights. I don't think we can see it anywhere across southern New England, uh, but we'll keep uh, watching over the next hour or so. Live radar, I'm not tracking any rain out there in our immediate area, but kind of broadening out. We've got this big old area of rain working through the Ohio River Valley and all the way back into Missouri. Some of that rain piece of it is going to be working its way into our area later today. So that's what we're tracking for the next 24 hours. Threat tracker for today, despite the rain, looks to be more of a nuisance than anything else. Do expect increasing clouds today. I think the daylight hours should be mainly dry and it'll be a little milder as well. And we got that rain tonight, but I think tomorrow will be the pick of the weekend with dry skies and fairly mild temperatures. But we've got more rain on the way for Sunday. I'm expecting a high around 50 today. That's about five degrees above the uh, average for the date. Uh, morning low is actually down to 43. So we are looking at still above average uh, temperatures to start the day. 40 in Coventry, 41 in Smithfield, 46 in Newport, a little milder there in uh, New Bedford at 48. We've had this little batch of clouds working on through this morning. Other than that, it's pretty quiet. Yeah, we've got this big storm in the middle of the country working uh, through Missouri. That's where it's anchored right now in that area of low pressure is going to be working its way to the Great Lakes and we're going to be seeing a piece of that moisture working through our area a little bit later today and primarily during the evening. So let's time it out with the hour by hour forecast. Here's nine o'clock this morning, starting off dry clouds thickening up through the day. This is three o'clock in the afternoon. I think we're still dry, but notice we're getting rain showers after about four or five o'clock and continuing through the evening and then we'll dry out after midnight and that's where we start our Saturday with a blend of sunshine and clouds looks dry for tomorrow still relatively mild now as we jump into the second half of the weekend we'll probably start off mainly dry but notice we've got more rain arriving and there are some computer models that indicate that this rain may actually start a little bit earlier than 3 p.m. maybe closer to noon time so that's what we're tracking for for the weekend for today about 53 degrees for a high dry during the daylight hours are mainly dry. There'll be some showers around by evening for tonight. We're looking at some light rain showers throughout the evening hours. I know there's some tree lightings today. Nothing terribly heavy. Wouldn't hurt to bring an umbrella temperatures. 44 degrees for uh, late tonight for tomorrow. We're still in the lower 50s. Lots of clouds, but still some sunshine as we go through our Saturday. As I mentioned, the pick of the weekend is Saturday. Sunday, the showers will return. Could be a shower or two on Monday, but primarily dry. I'm thinking that Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday will end up dry, but notice the temperatures a little colder, only topping out in the upper 30s and lower 40s as we head through uh, the next uh, 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 next week, especially uh, Tuesday, Wednesday and into uh, Thursday. But we've got uh, rain for a little bit later today and a chance for some rain for the second half of the weekend. WPRI.com.